Hi, Ken. Hi. We are getting um, quite a few questions about how do I take C60 when I'm intermittent fasting? So let's dive into this today. Okay, well, the first thing is, one of the things is C60 is in an oil. So when you take the C60 product, you are breaking your intermittent fast. So when would you take C60? It's when you break the fast. Now, there's some uh, excellent ones. Now, what, technically speaking, this is our MCC60 and MCT oil. Because MCT turns into a, it's MCT is medium chain triglycerides. They turn into ketones in your body. So, and, and not fact. So technically it's not breaking the fast, those ketosis, it won't break your ketosis. Mm -hmm. So you can do that if you want and do that the first thing. A lot of people just use it in their coffee or whatever drink they're going to do at the break when they break their fast, just put the C60 in that drink and take it then. And uh, that's probably the best time actually to take it is right as that's how, what I do when I break my, inter mm -hmm. my intermittent fasting. That's say take C60 is pretty much the first thing I do. Okay. Well, let's talk about the different oils when you're intermittent fasting with C60 because you just mentioned MCT coconut oil, which is great and easy to put in your coffee or tea or your smoothie mm -hmm. or whatever you're doing. But um, let's talk about the the different windows and time frames because personally, I really, really love if I'm doing whether it's an eight or a, you know a four hour kind of mm -hmm. or maybe even a six hour feeding window. Um, when I break my fast, it's typically round lunchtime or it can be early afternoon. And I absolutely love to drizzle the olive oil on salad, veggies, soups, oh. sandwiches, things like that. But the avocado oil is also just as lovely for, you know, that same type of um oh, magic. Look at that magical green screen. Yes, our <laughs> our uh, avocado oil is uh, good because one of the things about avocado oil, it doesn't uh it doesn't have like the bite that extra virgin olive oil does. Mm -hmm. And so, but it, but you also you can like put it on your, your toast, make your olive oil avocado toast mm -hmm. in the morning. So any of those things are fine. Uh, if you, you can do the oils now that a lot of people, I mentioned the MCT oil because that actually, it's, you're still in ketosis. So you can actually start that and, and it actually gives you a, a little bit of energy. Some people just break their intermittent fasting with uh, the gummies. So will you tell us a little bit about your experience with intermittent fasting? Because uh, as I understand it, you've been able to get back down to your high school weight using intermittent fasting plus C60. So will you just tell us a little bit um, about the secrets to your success with intermittent fasting? Well, that was the intermittent fasting was the only thing that I found worked. I did all these different little things. I gained a little weight, right? And, you know, you go always go down to a certain floor and then you just stop. And, uh, and then when I discovered intermittent fasting, I was able to punch through those floors and I was down to my... Uh, high school weight. Of course, after Christmas, sometimes it creeps back up oh. but for Thanksgiving. And then you have to do some extra fasting to get back down. Those are, mm -hmm. that's just a typical. And, uh, and usually what I do is I do the intermittent fasting. And then let's say if I, you know, gain a little weight or maybe I broke the intermittent fast, mm -hmm. I might, could, I could just do one meal a day. Or I can find if I actually just fast for one day, it like resets everything, drops it back to the right weight. Mm -hmm. And then you go on. So you could do that you know, it doesn't have to be, in fact, mixing it up a little bit is fine. You know, sometimes if you go over, sometimes just have one meal a day. Uh, it's it's doing it exactly the same thing every day doesn't always work. Yeah. Kind of giving your body a little bit of metabolic flexibility there. So it's, you know, it's doing two two meals a day or one meal a day, or maybe it's longer, or maybe it's shorter. I basically, I'm on the four to six hour uh, thing. That's what they found somewhere between four and six hours a day, get pretty much the same results. If you want to go one step beyond that, when you get older, that's one meal a day and that's below the four hour thing. So they have these steps. And then there's like a six to eight hour window, which is where a lot of people start. Yeah. And uh, then they go to the four to six. And it's also, relatively easy to do because you can basically just skip breakfast. And also it's with your age. See, as you get older, the shorter the window must become. Yeah. So you people in your thirties and eight hour fast, an eight hour eating window is probably perfectly fine. And you'll get all the benefits for somebody a few years older. You got to shrink it down to four to six hours because that's kind of a one of the things. And also you mentioned something how intermittent fasting with women. Yeah, women and men really shouldn't intermittent fast the same way. It depends on your cycle, your age, uh, what you have going on with your hormones. If you're in perimenopause or, mer uh, or menopause, it may not be appropriate for you to do the OMAD. So it's important to you know, do some additional resource, research, um, seek out resources and, and um, you know, work with somebody who can advise you appropriately to do the 
proper amount of fasting for your body based on what's going on with you hormonally. And we'll bring on some other experts um, in the IF space to talk more about that in the future. But um, I really appreciate your feedback. So thank you. You're welcome.